Right, this is a quick tutorial about how to uh, customize the LED ring notification for the S10, S10 Plus, and the S. Shout out to uh, Solomon Alice for this uh, video. Show you something amazing. Now this applies to Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and of course the S10e. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn off my phone and I'm gonna send myself a text message from my other phone. I want you to watch what happens on the screen. Okay, just sent a message and let's see what happens on the screen. So as you can see, we have now an LED notification around the hole that is actually available via an app. Now, before I do that, let me show you one more thing. Let me send myself a WhatsApp text message. Uh, this one was a regular text message. Now, let me send myself a, a WhatsApp message. And as you can see with that one, the color is a little bit different. And of course, I can modify the LED notification around the hole for any way that I want. So let's dive in and discover how to get this accomplished so you can love your S10 even more. So let's go into the screen, let's log right in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to actually go to the Play Store and download the Always On Edge Edge Lighting app. And of course, it is free to download, which is the best part. Now, it is a little bit complicated to use this application, so let's uh, step by step show you how to get this done. When I first installed it myself, it took me a while to get everything working properly. So let me open the application. When you open the application, what you're going to see is you're going to see this screen and you're gonna see the current way you have set up to receive your notification. So I'm seeing this one right over here around the notch, but you might be seeing a light around the edges of the device, which is the default setting, but I'm gonna have you uh, fix that. So let's go to the settings, click here for settings. That's gonna be in the same exact spot. And the very first thing that you wanna do is you have to give the application all the required permissions so it can perform properly. So what you wanna do is you wanna check all these four boxes one by one, and every time you check them, it's gonna take you to a different screen to allow access for the app to do its thing. The next thing you wanna do is under app restriction, you wanna make sure that you actually pick allow this app to run without restrictions so it doesn't cause any problems, any delays in the way it works. You can have it here as well, but it might actually give you some trouble. Now, let me go back here, make sure this is enabled. And when you enable that, it's gonna be good to go. And then you scroll down a little bit and over here it says how to start. Uh, just choose manually only when I want, I open the app. Okay, so that's the way you wanna pick that. Now at the bottom here, uh, you're going to see an option that says when notification comes. When this is disabled, it's just going to look like this. So be careful, uh, look at it very carefully. So enable this and it's going to expand for you. So this is when a notification comes. Uh, do you want the, the whole lighting to get applied uh, when the screen is off, when it is on, or when it is on or off, which means always. Okay. So if you have it set up this way and you're on your home screen just like that, and you get a text message, it's not gonna give you that light around the hole or whatever setting that you have. So make sure that that is enabled to always if you wanna see it at all times. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple more things, but just to show you how good this app is, let me just scroll down and I'll show you one thing really quickly. Uh, with this app, you do have a bunch of styles that you can choose uh, for this lighting style. So I can do sparkle, okay, so that's the sparkle method. You can do tide if you want, all right, so that's the tide. You can do crash if that's what you want. You can do follow if that's what you want. You can do stable, uh, which is gonna be a stable light, which is something I like. You can do flicker, and of course you can do the worm. And the best part is you can also do space between edges. So you can do medium, wide, or however you wanna do it. So as you can see, it puts a, a space between the two edges. I like the narrow version. You can even customize it a little bit more over here uh, by choosing the way the corners look. And of course, uh, you can even have uh, how many colors do you want to have on the actual whole lighting? You can choose one color, you can choose two colors, or you can choose three colors. It's all going to be up to you. You can fully customize this thing. And the best part is you can actually have the edge as thick as you want. So if I increase the dial, that edge is going to go uh, quite thick if you want. Of course, you don't want to go to a high number because it's going to look stupid. But if you bring it back over to number seven, that's a good size for the uh, lighting to occur. Okay, so let's go back out really quickly. I'm gonna continue showing you ex exactly how to set this up. So we did set this up right here. When a notification comes, I wanna see it at all times. The next step is to choose one of these options. I'm gonna show you what they are. It's again, like I said, it's a complex application. So you have to be careful with every step. So by default, I chose this. And this basically, uh, when you get a text message, if you don't respond to that notification, the lighting is going to run every 60 seconds for eight seconds. So let's say my screen is off. Let's let's just send myself a message just to demonstrate how this works. 
So I just sent, just sent myself a text message. What's gonna happen is it's gonna do this for eight seconds. For eight seconds, it's gonna notify me with the light around the hole cut out. And after eight seconds, it's gonna turn off the screen. So once the screen actually gets turned off, just like this, what's gonna happen is after 60 seconds, it's gonna show me that same light around the hole for six or eight more seconds based on how you set it. So it's gonna keep reminding me every 60 seconds that I do have a notification, okay? So that's the way that works. All right, so let's go back into that thing real quick. Uh, right over here, open. Now I do wanna ma make you understand that. Okay, so let's go down here. Let me just clarify. Okay, we were right here. So we have it set up so it reminds me every 60 seconds. You can, again, you can change this to 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, whatever. Uh, the other thing is, and this is the most important part, is you have to go in and uh, select the apps that you want to use this for. So when you tap it, you get a full list of all the applications and you can search the application at the top. Now by default, you're not gonna see system apps like the phone or the messages. So what you wanna do is you wanna type in messages. If I type in messages right now, it's not gonna show me the actual text messages application. It just shows me the messenger. As you can see, that's the only thing in the list and I can do it for that as well. But what you wanna do is you wanna actually click on show system apps, okay? When you do that, it's going to show you all the system apps available. So I can search for messages and as you can see, it's gonna show up right here and then you're gonna click on it to enable this LED around the hole for the messages application and then scroll down and pick the kind of edge lighting that you want to uh, enable. And here edge lighting means the whole lighting because that's how we set it up in the first place. So you can have uh, color waves just like this, okay? You can do one color, you can pick one color for that app. You can choose two colors for that app. Now, as you saw, I had two colors set up or you can just uh, choose three. So let me show you one color real quick. So I'm gonna just do, uh, let's just do pink, okay? So choose. Now if I go back out, every time you make a modification, make sure you scroll all the way down and uh, click on save. Now when you click on save, there's another thing that's gonna show up. If you got the free version, you're gonna have to watch one ad for the savings to go into effect. But if you pay $1, it's going to be free. So it's gonna unlock the app. You can save it as many times as you want. Uh, if you just use the free version, uh, you, you're gonna click save. It's just gonna make you watch one ad and it's gonna actually save the settings. So when you click save, that's the screen you're gonna see, okay? Make sure you save every time you make a modification. So if I turn off my screen right now, just like that, and send myself one more text message, you're gonna see the new changes reflecting on. So I'm gonna get a notification and boom, as you can see, it's that pink color or the purple color that we just chose. All right, so let's go back right in. Go inside, go back into that application right here, tap on settings, and then scroll all the way down uh, to this area right here very close to the top okay so this is the area that you want to play with to make sure everything is running perfectly and again if you go to just let me show you one more thing just as an example so if I go over here and if I want to modify my whatsapp text messages I can tap on whatsapp and again over here I can modify that as well so for my whatsapp notifications the edge lighting or the whole lighting is going to be one color and it's going to be green now let's go back I'm going to show you one more thing that's very very important to make sure that this runs properly so you wanna scroll down a little bit, all the way down to where it says enable edge lighting. Make sure this is enabled and make sure this one says around notch only. If you do this one, you're just gonna get the regular lighting, edge lighting plus the around the hole. So you can also do this left or right sides only, or you can do top and bottom only. But if you want the, the notch one, which is for the hole, you're gonna tap on around notch only and that's the one that I'm sure that we all want. And again, here's the edge style that I talked about earlier. So you got all these different styles, which is fantastic. Uh, all these modifications and customizations that are possible right over here. You can even change the speed. And uh, there's also one more very important thing. And that has to do with the display clock. So every time I get notified, you saw that there was a display clock on the background. So if I turn this off again, send myself a message. Let me do it uh, from WhatsApp this time. So let me send myself a WhatsApp text message. And as you can see, uh, I get notified with a light around the edge and also I see this clock, clock style right over here. So that's what that is for, okay? So again, let me go back here, click open, go into settings and make sure uh, that if you wanna see that clock, you enable this and then you can tap on this and pick all these various clock styles. The one that I chose was this one right over here. So that's basically how you set this thing up. Now, as you saw, it's a little complicated system here. Now, unless you're a power user, you do need these step-by-step -step instructions. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below. 
Uh, just remember, there's much more you can do here. This is not only about the whole lighting. This app gives you so much uh, more to do. And if you look around, you have these emoji icon falls, you've got the, the widget settings, you've got the clock styles, you can do so much more. But as far as the edge lighting, I'm sorry, the whole lighting is concerned, just give all the permissions over here, make sure to enable this, go in here and set individual apps the way you want them to behave. For example, with the WhatsApp that I did, okay? Just like that, pick what you, what you wanna see, what color you wanna see. And the biggest thing is, after you set this area up, also scroll down, and make sure that the edge lighting is enabled and you choose around notch only. That's the only way this is gonna work. If you have it over here, it's just gonna go nuts all over the place, okay? Uh, and then modify the, uh, the the style that you wanna see over here from here. You're gonna have to do some testing. You might go crazy, but you're gonna figure this out. Once it's done, it's really cool. There's, like I said, there's a lot more you can do. Even on the top over here, uh, right over here, in this main area, uh, you can do the reminder like I did earlier, or you can just disable the reminder. Okay, the reminder is good if you just want to see that something is, has happened in case you missed it. And you can also do things like this. I'm not going to play with this. It's just that the video is going to get too long. But once you set this thing up the way I showed you, you can go in and play with all these other settings as you please. All right? So the link to the app is down below. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And hopefully other people can help you too if you have any questions. For now, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure